Well, here we are. Thankfully, we can get this out on time. I thought I was going to do this on Monday. But we can get this out on time. Get it all up and everything like that. So, you know, this week of indoor football, back for another week of stuff going on. And during this week in indoor football, we have quite an interesting slate of CIF action. Uh, I literally just updated the slide. I don't know what's going on, but Gillette beat up on Rapid City 68-20. to That game just ended. Uh, Salida, Sioux City, definitely lived up to the hype 45-39 there in that game over time. Victory for the Bandits in that one Saturday night. And then Omaha beat up on Billings 47-19. And like I said, you know, Salina, Omaha, Sioux City, top three in the league. It's going to be a combination of those three teams. Sioux City being my pick to win the CIF. Definitely watch out for Gillette now. Um, sure, they played, you know, Rapid City. They played Southwest Kansas so far. But Gillette looking legit, playing good defense and everything like that, scoring in bunches. Um, Topeka's playing a non-league game against Arlington, and that's why there was delay. There was going to be a significant delay. I thought I was going to, again, I thought there was going to be a delay. <clears throat> but it turns out everything's fine. We, we got it out when we needed to eat it out. Um, CIF board of directors basically said, hey, we're going to give teams fines for you know, not streaming games properly because there were some issues, you know, both more than likely on the team's end. There was also, you know, issues from the CIF themselves. They don't want to admit that, uh, you know, they don't test out the streams before games and everything like that, you know, and stuff like that. And then things go wrong during the games and everything, you know, but things are okay. Um, Omaha, two sellouts so far for that non-league game they had. And then the game against Billings, now people were saying, it was like, oh, well, you know, the Beef Arena was like two-thirds of the way full, but still, sell out. Sell out. That is how you do it right there. That's good for Omaha. That's good. Um, keeping on going, this is where I live at now in Mesquite, or at least close to Mesquite. For the starters, I do not know if the Arena League is even a thing. The pages have been awfully quiet since they said they were going to start on March the 5th. Don't know if they're gonna don't know if they're gonna go or not. The Texas Pride don't know if they actually have those triads or not. They haven't been posting anything. I haven't seen a post from them on their social medias about it i'm just asking do you exist do you exist if you do you need to say something i'm not gonna go out and investigate especially not during spring break i'm not gonna go out and investigate see if the texas pride actually exists or if the arena league exists at that mesquite rodeo thing i'm not gonna go out there and investigate either of those things um, so, there's that. Um, the Great Lakes Leon Arena Alliance, of course you see Chicago's logo over there. Um, now, there was a issue with Chicago at one point because, you know, they weren't on the GLA we LAA website at one point, like they were on there, but it didn't have their games on there. And I haven't checked since then. But in between last week and this week, Chicago posted their home schedule. They're going to be playing at Hoffman Estates. It 
Um, their game against Central Illinois, it's not in Danville. It's going to be it's probably going to be in the Hoffman Estates. Um, they have a couple games against Ohio schedule, April 15th, May 6th, Southern Michigan, April 29th, and then obviously the opener for Chicago will be next week against Central Illinois. Um, the current schedule has some conflicts, like I said, like West Michigan is playing against Ohio on April 16th, but yet Chicago saying they're going to play Ohio, the Blitz, on April the 15th as well. So I don't know what's true and what's not true because, again, the GLAA is really saying anything. You know, the, the social media has been kind of quiet all week long. Uh, so it's kind of weird. You know, we're in a weird position where it's like, I think Chicago's in this league. But at the same time, I don't know if they really are or not. So I, I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you anything about, you know, Chicago's stance and where the GLAA stands right now. What I do have is what I have listed here are the current games that the GLAA has. And you'll see, you know, that Ohio... Um, Chicago, Ohio, West Michigan conflict there. So you see there are some conflicting things there. West Michigan and Ohio played a game already. Um, the next game up will be Thursday night. It'll be, or it'll be Ohio Southern Michigan. And we'll see if Battle Creek plays or not. They haven't been posting much either. Um, really, Ohio is the only team that's been posting anything of note. Keep in mind, there are a couple of non-league games that I have. Uh, again, Houston, the Ballers from the AAL2, and obviously Central Illinois taking on Chicago now. Again, still kind of a discrepancy there. I don't know if Chicago's playing any road games or not. They didn't post those. They just posted their home schedule. So I don't know right now. I don't know right now. But speaking of stuff I don't know right now, the other Arena League, the Tim Brown-led one, they've awarded Springfield, Missouri, a team. Uh, four teams are going to be playing out of the 10 cities that are being selected. There's like 10 cities in consideration. One of them will be Springfield. Four teams in total, June to August, 10-game schedule. Six-man football, 15 players in total on the roster with a 20-second play clock, 50-yard fields, obviously, and there's going to be some sort of interaction with the fans. Now, I, I particularly do not care for this league at all. I just feel like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to talk about it at some point. You know, the, you know, the arena league, this, this iteration – of the Arena League has actually been active on social media since like December. Like they kind of quietly went about it with how active they've been. So similarly to the GLAA, which was also active late last year, but nobody knew about it. So Tim Brown led league it's going to be intriguing to see, you know, what in the world the other three teams are going to be. Who will those teams be? Why it's six-man football instead of, like, maybe seven-man, like, you know, um, on the X League, a.k.a. the Lingerie Football League. You know, why six-man? Yeah, I live in Texas. Yeah, I know there's a six-man football scene here, but honestly... I do not care about high school football at all. So, so you could so you couldn't ask me anything about you know six man football at this time. But this arena league, this the arena league is going to be intriguing to see how it unfolds. And it seems like Springfield will get a new 
arena built and everything too. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but hmm, with everything in play, Tim Brown said he wanted to be different. We'll see if this league can be different with things imminently coming to a head. So, until next Monday night, unfortunately, that's going to wrap it up here. And I will be seeing you all tomorrow because I've been delaying a certain lacrosse video long enough, so I need to talk about some lax. I've been, I've been delaying that for a long time. Um, if you've seen the new channel banner, um, you'll be noticing that I'll be covering, you know, you've seen me talk about it at random points on the channel of women's college basketball, so I'm naturally going to be covering the WBA as well, and some stuff I've dropped entirely. Like the XFL, the USFL, WWE, drop that entirely as far as come making content about them goes. Uh, so yeah, the, the video frequency you, you've been seeing from me lately, you know, maybe two to three day, maybe a video every two to three days instead of like, you know, like every three to four days instead of like every one to three days. That's the type of frequency you'll be seeing from me going forward, basically. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, that's all I got. If you're still, if you're having a spring break, I hope you're enjoying that. Till then, Big Boy Sports signing out and whoever subscriber number 197 is you are the MVP tonight take care have a good night I'll see you soon